Singapore, with a name like that, one would expect Christmas Island to bear many gifts. It has not disappointed. Among its treasures is the red crab, Gacarcoidea natalis, a unique crustacean found only on Christmas Island, it is in the Indian Ocean, and nowhere else in the world. These creatures move and masse from forest to sea to spawn once a year, carpeting roads and homes a bright red, in a phenomenon that famed naturalist Sir David Attenborough reportedly regards as one of the most astonishing and wonderful sights. But Christmas Island, located about an hour's flight from Jakarta, has more surprises in store, as Singapore scientists are discovering. Over four expeditions since 2010, the team has already discovered 10 species of crabs and prawns on Christmas Island, including the blue crab and the yellow eye crab, which also cannot be found anywhere else in the world. This festive season, people can get a glimpse of these creatures without having to travel all the way to the island that once belonged to Singapore. Specimens of the unique creatures are on display at the Lee Kong Chun Natural History Museum, in a temporary exhibition called Christmas Island Red launched on Monday, December 18. It highlights the historical links between both islands, Singapore and Christmas Island, why conservation is important, and the discoveries we've made. Our predecessors in the 1930s and 1950s described many new species and we continue with this tradition, said crab expert and museum head Peter Ng, who led the expeditions. Christmas Island was named on Christmas Day 1643, and was part of Singapore until 1957, when it was sold by the British to the Australian government for £2.9 million, according to the website of the Christmas Island Tourism Association. The official transfer took place in 1958. But close ties remained between the Republic and Christmas Island, which has a population of about 2,000, especially on the research front. More expeditions are being planned for the years ahead. There was the assumption that the island's fauna was well known, as it is located so close to Indonesia. But we found that there is still so many things left to discover, said Professor Ng. There have been about 400 to 500 species recorded on the island, but I think that is a gross underestimate because the island is actually not easy to survey as it has a very rugged landscape, land and sea. Despite its welcoming name, Christmas Island is surrounded by inhospitable rocky cliffs which hampered early explorers. But Professor Ng and his team saw opportunity in adversity. I was intrigued why no one had found a freshwater cave crab even though the island had so many limestone caves. So I looked for caves with the Australian parks people, went into them, laid traps. And lo and behold we caught two new species of crabs. Orcovita hixi and Orcovita orchardorum, and a new prawn, Macrobrachium christmas. Why had no one caught them before? Because they are few and scattered in a big cave system. Traps worked best, but Professor Ng considers his best discovery on the island to be the blue crab, which has a unique shell the color of the sky. The crab was previously thought to be a unique color form of the widely distributed land crab, Discoplax hurt ipes.